What's good, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Mikey Raider, coming to you after a long 10, 12-day absence of making videos for this channel. But I'm refreshed, re-ready, and I'm getting pumped up for this season. My life is getting to a more better, positive place. Um, I just spiraled this last weekend. That's a story for another day. But hey, I'm going to do a Raider football talk this weekend. It'll probably be on Saturday evening between the hours of 5 and 8 p.m. Pacific. So consider hitting that thumbs up, that bell, that like button for notifications. Consider becoming a member to be a part of the live streams and, and all the fun that's coming from a more positive place. Even though the Raiders are a clown show, the coach is a bitch. And the, the people running the team... The PR department and all that are just ridiculous. And I want to complain in every video. I'm going to try to bring some fun. Maybe not for this show on Saturday, but definitely in the weeks to come. We're going to have training camp battles. We're going to have some, um, of course, latest news. I'm going to create a Josh McDaniel scale, a dumbass scale. And, he, and we're going to judge him every week on his decisions during the season. Uh, I'm going to try to get a Mondays with Mikey and Murph going, but Murph is, he's been um, moving and dealing with some, some of his stuff. But hey, I'm trying to figure it out. But for everybody that's subscribed, that's been riding or dying with me, I love you guys. I thank you guys. God bless. Enjoy your days ahead. And I'll see you probably Saturday night for a Raider Football Talk Live video. All right. Again, I got to get off my butt and put in some work. And I'm going to try to do that. So, just wanted to say for every other video maker out there, please check out their stuff. Hardcore Raiders going live probably tonight, 6 o'clock. Raider Critique might go live. I don't know who else I'm forgetting to mention. Um, what are they called? The, Raider, the, the Autumn Windbags are pretty cool people. Juan's pretty cool. LV Goalie, you know, Steve goldberton has got a great show, Raider Nation Network, or, or I forget the name of it, but I'm just proud y'all are holding down the fort while I've been absent for a few years now. <laughs> but I love you guys. God bless. And please, in the comments below for Saturday's show, ask me some questions or call the hotline. I believe the number's in the description. But if there's any certain topics you want me to discuss or answer from my point of view or, or whatever, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, a few of the hot button issues we're going to get to on Saturday's show will be uh, the Josh Jacobs PR nightmare of how the Raiders are publicly excluding him from press releases. Some people don't have a problem with it. Some people do. Let's discuss the ramifications of that. Also, the Derek Carr situation finally has settled down a little bit, but everybody's still on different sides of the fence, and more Raider fans now are upset with Derek Carr. We'll get into that. I hope you guys watched my, what, hour-long video where I dissect his, his emotions and his psyche. Um, I, think I, I think I did a really good job at explaining who Derek Carr is. Uh, doesn't mean he's right, doesn't mean he's wrong, uh, doesn't mean he doesn't make mistakes, doesn't mean anything about his on-the-field gameplay. But I, I thought I did a good job explaining, because me and Derek Carr, we're, the, we're simpatico. We're like the same person. Very insecure, sarcastic, mean, you know, but loving outwardly. We get pissed off, we get angry. It's, it's funny. We're the same dude. Uh, but if there's any topics for the Raiders that I haven't covered or anybody else hasn't talked about or covered, let me know down below, okay? I ha I don't follow them as much nowadays as I used to, so I don't know all the little nooks and crannies. I, unfortunately, are watching the mainstream videos, and <clears throat> I'm going with, you know, the big stories like Josh Jacobs, uh, you know, the Dare Carr story, uh, and all that other stuff. <clears throat> while missing some others. So, 
I'm still going to let you guys know this, and this is going to be my final statement for this video. I'm positive for the Raiders to win a few games. But I do not personally see them winning more than six games or seven games. It just it doesn't feel better than that right now. There's too many questions going into Josh McDaniel's second season. Too many questions, too many problems, too much dysfunction going into his second season for it to be a winning season. Hey, maybe it's all rigged. The NFL will put the Raiders versus the Saints in the Super Bowl in Las Vegas where it'll be Derek Carr revenge or it'll be Josh McDaniels revenge against Derek Carr or so on and so forth. I don't know. It'll be the same, you know, computer simulation theory that happened to Gruden versus Al Davis in the 2001 Super Bowl where somebody went to another team. Again, even though it wasn't a coach or it wasn't a this, it was a quarterback or it's the same simulation just with different players in different positions and different coaches. So they always say in a computer simulation, everything happens again and again and again and again. So if we are living in a computer simulation, this would be the simulation 21 or 22 years, 23 years later. Would be, would be the Raiders losing a player, having turmoil and trauma and and going from last place to, to like the Super Bowl, number one offense versus the number one defense in the Saints, you know, Derek Carr versus Josh McDaniels, that would make some money. Plus, if it is a sim simulated world, that would be the simulation. Everything happens again 20 to 30 years later, just like nostalgia comes back 20 to 30 years later, and they make a lot of money. Those are my thoughts, guys. I'm sticking to it. Just want to let everybody know I love you guys. Raider Nation for life. Hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little talk video. Uh, expect a show this weekend, Saturday, between the hours of 5 and 8 Pacific. And other than that, I love you guys. I like this t-shirt. Y'all watch this cartoon growing up? Voltron, Defender of the Universe. I remember I couldn't afford all the lions. I could I could only afford a couple of them. I bought the green lion and the blue lion. Because those were like my favorite colors. But I was never able to get the red lion, the yellow lion, or the black lion. Um, I did buy the little figures all together. But yeah, I never had all the lions. And now, I think they were not made with die-cast metal. Then they were made with plastic in the future. And I don't know what happened. Something happened. But they came out with like a 25th or a 30th anniversary edition where you can buy the Lions all together in a box package maybe about 10 years ago or, or whatever. And it was all the die-cast metals. And I think it was like 150 bucks, and I never bought it. I don't think I had the money. I never have the money. But hey, there it is, guys. That's my video for today. See you guys on Saturday. I love you, Raider Nation. And let's get pumped for a interesting season.